I am Eddie Micah Jr. and you are welcome to the program. A new report says Africa is being hit hard by climate change, but the worst could be yet to come if urgent action is not taken. The World Meteorological Organization says the continent was impacted by a number of extreme weather events in 2019, including Cyclone Idai, one of the worst tropical storms on record. It has also suffered droughts, rising temperatures and floods. It says climate change is one of the main drivers of hunger on the continent. The organization has outlined a number of recommendations to try to avert the worst. For more on that, I earlier spoke to Felipe Lucio, Director of the Global Framework for Climate Services with the World Meteorological Organization. I first asked him why such a report was important now. This report is particularly important now because um, Africa faces significant challenges in addressing climate variability and climate change risks, including, for example, increased um, temperatures and sea level, uh, changing patterns of uh, precipitation, but also the occurrence of um, extreme weather and climate events, which have significant impacts on climate sensitive sectors such as agriculture, water, disaster, risk reduction. So in other terms, which have uh, significant impacts on the overall socioeconomic development of Africa. Africa is a continent uh, which is uh, mostly dependent on agriculture, which uh, 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 employs more than 60% of, uh, of the population. And it's through agriculture that most people get their, their livelihoods. Their behavior of rains as therefore significant impacts on the continent. So mm. it is uh, critically important that as Africa intends to adapt to climate variability, intends to adapt to climate change, Africa has access and uses the best available science coming from authoritative sources. But at the same time, um, Africa uh, has uh, uh, the ability of uh, um, um, building its um, capacity in order to increase climate um, climate resilience. Mm. Um, so this so report let's um let, let, let's let's hammer a bit more on the impact because that's what ordinary Africans care about. What did your report find uh, to be some of the major impacts of climate change? Well, to start with um, I'd like to um, go back um, a little bit to 2019 where we had uh, Mozambique impacted by tropical cyclone Idai, which was uh, considered to be one of the most um, destructive tropical cyclones ever recorded in the Southern Hemisphere. It caused the death of more than 700 people, widespread um, displacement, and the city of Beira was totally paralyzed. Mm. Services and uh, all the activities were, uh, were totally disrupted. Um, a month later, the same country, Mozambique, was uh, impacted by tropical cyclone Kenneb, which was even stronger than tropical cyclone um, uh, Idai. And so if this is uh, the pattern, if this is the pattern as we move into the future, we could expect uh, uh, more damage and therefore the need of um, the continent to get organized. When we look at the data, it is inequivocal. Africa has been warming. Since 1901, the continent has warmed by more than 1.1 degrees Celsius relative to the pre-industrial period. 2019 was uh, the third warmest year ever recorded in the continent after 2010 and 2016. And mm. the five-year uh, period 2015-2019, for each of those uh, years, um, it was warmer than any year uh, prior to 2014. And when we look at uh, the decade 2010-2019, this was the warmest uh, decade on record in Africa. Okay. And one particular point about the decade of warming is the fact that each decade has been consistently warmer than the previous decade. And with those, that warming, you have uh, um, uh, the increase in um, uh, heat waves, but also the, the, the increase in... in, in, in um, in okay. uh, uh, dryness. Okay, so um, we always don't want to spell doom for, for Africans, but moving forward, what lessons can Africans learn from the report to better manage the situation? 
the lessons is, uh, and I'll, I'll draw specifically from the case of Mozambique, for Africa to be able to deal effectively with the climate extremes, they have to, first of all, use um, effective risk knowledge. We have to understand the behavior also of uh, the hazards uh, and, and their forward-looking trends. They have to improve their early warning um, system capability by um, enhancing observations, by enhancing forecasting capability. They have to improve communication of um, actionable warnings, which are understandable by those who have to take decisions. Uh, they have to put in place massive education uh, campaigns where people understand the risk they're subjected to. They understand what is it that they need to do in order to um, uh, um, uh, take action in okay. case of warnings. But most, import most importantly, hazards and disasters in Africa cannot be dealt with uh, independently. They have to be dealt with uh, with an integral approach, integrated approach.